Today I got something that's really interesting. I showed it a little bit in a previous video. This is from Timu. This is what I would think would be the ultimate bug out bag grill. The stainless steel folding barbecue stove. Let's check it out. All right, folks, welcome back. So I wanted to show you this uh, in a full separate review. We did the uh, little coffee maker and the little teapot previously, but I wanted to show you this one separately because I thought it was so neat that it deserved its own video. Um, we're going to go and put this thing together. We're going to take it outside and try it out, see if it holds up. I'm a little concerned if it's going to warp or not, but I mean, it was $9.57, $9.57, and I will leave you a link down below if you're interested. So definitely check that out. Uh, I'm just going to throw some spam on here today and grill it up. We're just going to do a wood fire in it and just see how well it performs. Now, what I like about this is the compact size of it. This thing is so tiny. I mean, when we put it together, you'll see. I mean, there's your grill right there. But it's got enough real estate on it to actually cook something legit on it. And these are going to be your side pieces here, like that. And if you notice, the bottom is going to be nice because they interlock. So you won't have all that stuff just falling out. You do have room for air and for ash to fall out, but you won't have stuff just falling through the bottom like I did with another similar kind of thing. Um, these are your side pieces. Basically, now I stink at putting these things together on camera. Off camera, I'm a whiz at it. <laughs> on camera, I'll probably make a fool of myself here. But... Let's try it out. So you basically, you're just going to slide this thing together like that, okay? And I'm just going to lift up this side and slide this side in. So it's fairly simple to put together. As I, I would say that as, as it starts to be difficult to put together. And what I think I'm going to do with this piece is just put it all like this and then slide it in. Might be a little bit easier that way. But you get the idea. I mean, it's a very simple stove to... Uh, to assemble and slide in there and slide in there and I think we got it there we go okay so you see how it goes together and that's it right there it's just a matter of kind of learning I've only put this together like two other times it's a matter of learning which order you want to put it in so like I said you've got these little tabs on the bottom that will support the stability of the stove and once you put this grill on top it's a pretty darn stable stove you will notice that the grill has little pieces sticking up that's for your little edges and your corners so it goes in there and it's nice and stable and it's not going to fall out or flop around or cause any kind of headaches with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a little wood fire in this thing and we are going to test it out and see just how, uh, how well it holds up. There, I got the grill on right. Uh, see how it holds up. You do have areas to feed this. Um, something I was a little concerned about at first, I'm like, geez, am I going to have to pick up the grill every time? Well, this is primarily a twig stove or a twig grill you're going to be using smaller pieces so you have a side here you have this little area up here and also a hole here and an area up here to feed twigs and again i'm going to build a decent enough fire in here to get it started and then i'm going to cook on the coals i don't want to be cooking on open raging raging flame so we do want to do that. I would say this is suitable for one or two persons, you know, when you're camping or cooking out. And uh, we are going to weigh it. I'm going to show you how much it weighs. But all in all, I got to say for the price tag, if this thing works and holds up, I'm going to be pretty impressed. And another thing that's cool about it is you can use charcoal, you can use wood, any kind of biofuel you want. So you really don't have to lug around biofuel or wood or whatever if you're going out camping. So it's a nice kind of a backup wood stove um you know i know sometimes with my with my go gear my bug out stuff i'll pack a uh, an isobutane stove and then a wood stove on the side maybe a super light titanium one doesn't take too much you know weight and real estate in the bag up um, that's in case i run out of my isobutane um, my bug out bags are geared for a quick kind of two to three day get out of dodge type thing they're not i'm never coming home bags i have totes for that all filled up with food and enough to last me at least a month um therefore quick getting out of town for short-term emergency uh even maybe i get a call on the radio saying hey we got an emergency situation we need you to go up on the mountain and do this and we need you to go over here and do that you might be there for a day or two well, I'm all ready to go with that. So that's kind of why I keep the bug out bags. They're not long term, you know, never coming home type bags. So what we're going to do is put this outside. I'm going to do some wood. I've chopped up some, this sounds so horrible, dollar store spam. <laughs> it just sounds bad. 
uh, we're going to uh, take that outside and uh, see how well it works. So let's get the grill outside and get you guys along with me and fire up a fire in it. Now before I take this out, I did want to show you this thing weighs about 17.25 ounces. So it's really not a super heavy item. Um, it is stainless steel. It does come with a little storage bag here that I have underneath everything. So we're going to take it outside and fire it up, but I did want to show you the weight because I figure if I have to wait for this thing to cool off and bring it back in and weigh it, it's going to be a while. So there you go, about 17, 18 ounces. Not bad. So first off, it's really windy down here. Um, let me apologize for wind noise ahead of time, but today we're going to try out some pyro putty. I've shown this in the channel before. Uh, I have a little piece here that I actually took apart from last time. Basically what you're going to do is it's kind of a putty-like material but it also is very fibrous. So you're going to try and open that up with as many fibers as you can get on it. And then just hit it with a ferro rod. Now hopefully this doesn't blow away. <laughs> mm, that's actually pretty simple. And there we go. So we're going to let that fire start up. I'm going to put some more wood in there. Once we get it down to a good bed of coals, we're going to uh, bring you back and try to cook some spam on it. All right, so it seems to be working fairly well. Nothing's falling apart on me yet. <laughs> I didn't expect it to really, but you know, when you try out an expensive gear, you kind of always wonder. Now you'll notice I have a couple buckets back there. I kind of set up a little bit of a windbreak out here because it's extremely windy. And I think I'm gonna move this guy back a little bit. It's extremely windy uh, right now. So, now this is interesting. I'm noticing back here, you see that little piece coming up there? It's almost as if this stuff is too weak to, uh, yeah, see? Looks like it's warping a little bit on the on the grill itself, but we're going to cook on it and see uh, see how well it works. What can you expect for 10 bucks? Let's see how well it works. So we'll give it a few more minutes to kind of let that fire die down a little bit, and uh, we'll see how it holds up with some spam on it, which I got right here. All right, so we got the spam on. Um, do have a nice little bed of coals going down there. I'm going to throw in a little piece of wood just to keep it going. Um, and it does fit in there very well. I would say my opinion so far on this grill is that the grill itself, the you know the stainless steel structure, it's awesome. I'd probably get another one of these uh, um, grills for it because I'm noticing a little warping, not bad. I don't know how uh, how it's going to be sticky wise. You know how easy it's going to be to get that that stuff off there. But um, all in all, seems to be doing the job. No, uh, no major issues with it yet. So let's give it a few minutes with this stuff cooking here. I'm not going to cook the whole thing because I'm just really doing this for a demo. And I'll bring you back when we're done and we'll uh, see how it fared. All right, so whatever little bit of warping the grill did in the beginning, just that one little spot where it seemed to kind of like pent up like that, that's long since stopped. There's no problem there. So that's okay. It is kind of hard to get stuff off here. But then again, this is kind of cheaper spam, so it is very oily and greasy and kind of sticks to everything. But hey, you know what? It's working. It's doing its job. I'm going to toss another piece of wood in there just to kind of keep the coals and the fire alive. But yeah, it seems to be doing okay. So we'll give it a little, little bit and we'll uh, finish up this last little piece of meat here and see how we're doing. That one looks done. So we'll see how we're doing in a few minutes. So I just put three more pieces on. Seems to be doing okay. I'm eating the Spam here now. Tastes fine. So all in all, it seems to be doing its job. Um, no real problems with it. And again, you know, with something like this, if this is all you can afford to get started in some kind of outdoor cooking, it sure as heck beats nothing. You know, um, would I opt for something like this in a critical piece of gear? Probably not. Would I use it for fun while I'm out? Maybe, you know, locally gear camping or something? Sure. Um, don't like the fact that the top warped, but the bottom seems fine. Would it be a good portable fire pit? Yeah, but you have to keep feeding it a whole lot of wood because it's kind of small. But not bad for what it does. And for 10 bucks, you can't really go wrong. So I'm going to finish up this. I'm going to let this die down. And we'll bring it back inside after I wipe it up a bit and we'll wrap up the video. All right, so I rinsed it all off, brought it in. Seems to held up fine. None of the uh, none of the stainless steel stuff warped here at all. That's fine. As you can see, nothing nothing wrong with it at all. All those pieces remain fine. This warped a little bit, but mainly what warped wasn't the outside here. It was the grill itself. 
And as you can see in certain areas, see where it's a little wavy and bumpy? I don't know if you can see that on camera, but there's parts where it goes up and down. And even this is a little, a little sketch. But all in all, it worked. And I've tried other grills that have done that. Um, would I use this as, say, my first bug out type emergency stove absolutely not this was just for fun um, but if I only had 10 bucks to spend on a stove and I wanted to start getting out there and practicing my skills absolutely no reason not to heck you might even learn that you can improvise and make a better grill you know starting with cheap gear taught me a lot of lessons I'll be honest with you it taught me a lot of lessons on how to improve it make it better and more reliable and in the end Heck, I ended up with some nice stuff. And you can see some of that stuff if you go way, way back to my first videos because that's how I started doing this. I was just using my own gear to show people what I had. And um, i got to say, it worked. It did what it was supposed to do. Um, for 10 bucks, you really can't expect more than that. So I'm not overly uh, displeased at all. It actually did its job. Uh, so I will leave a link down below if you think you want to check it out. Um, again, none of the stainless steel stuff warped at all. The grill little, got a little hot, warped in some areas, but nothing that couldn't be bent back. I mean, if I really wanted to make that perfectly flat, I could. But um, definitely a cool little piece of gear for a, uh, for a uh, quick little camp out. Um, if it's all you can afford with emergency gear and you want to cook some food, believe me, you're going to be real thankful for that. If you could afford better, I'd buy better. But I wanted to test it out because it looked to me like it was really, really thin. And honestly, I figured I'd heat it up out there with some wood and this would start warping and that would snap and you'd hear it bend and tweak. Didn't do any of that. The only thing that warped a little bit was the grate of the stove. And that's a little thin anyway for that. So all in all, I'm pleased with it for 10 bucks. So check out the link down below. You can try it out and see if you like it. Um, definitely worked for me. I was pretty happy with it, so I think I'm going to hang on to it and maybe mess around with it more in the channel when I need a small little grill. Definitely would make an awesome fire pit. You could just throw this out and keep it as a fire pit. Cook over it even with a stick or whatever. So, definitely does its job. Maybe not the most expensive thing in the world, but it worked. Anyway, folks, that's the video for today. Link for this will be down below if you are interested in checking out this little grill from Timu. Um, I don't know that I'm going to be doing more Timu review stuff. I just like to check out the cheaper stuff and see if it actually works. So I definitely wanted to try it out, see if it was worthy of 10 bucks, And I definitely think it's worthy of 10 bucks. No issue with that at all. So, link will be down below, like I said. Check out the link. Check out all our other links. We have my Amazon affiliate store down there. If you don't see anything that you like in the store, or if you're just interested in helping us out, you can just click that link and shop every day you shop on Amazon. We do appreciate when you do that. Our freeze-dried wholesalers link, as you guys know, we have the sale going on there. You can save a whole lot of extra money now. Uh, my code is bumped up a little bit. Save you some money as long as you buy some of those breakfast items. So, definitely check that out. Are my Patriot Supply Link. That's preparewithiridium.com. Preparewithiridium.com. We have an amazing deal on that three month kit again. $200 off, under $600 for three months worth of food, 25 year shelf life, tons of food, comes in buckets, already sealed. Basically, all you got to do is make sure you have enough water stored, put it away. And you're good. Below that, of course, is our Thrive Life freeze-dried food store. You guys definitely check out Thrive as well. It makes They make some really good stuff and really healthy and nutritious. No additives, no chemicals. It's just raw ingredients that you put together and make your own meals out of. I thank you guys for watching me today and grilling with me a little bit. Stay safe and stay prepared.